All right, everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video. This one's going to be a short one. I'm just going to quickly talk about these gold armor packs because these things probably aren't going to be available for much longer. Right now, it's Friday, December 30th, and these things are probably going to be gone by Tuesday, which is when Bioware normally updates their cartel market sales. They did say that the gold armor packs are only going to be available for this holiday season, which does mean, I, or at least I presume, that that means during the next new year now, they're no longer going to be available, and we probably won't see them again for a very, very long time. I love these gold armor packs to death, but really, it's an interesting trend to see how they've been selling for on the GTN. I'll throw up some old footage here, but only a year ago, these things were selling for 2 million credits each. I bought up a ton of them. Man, that was a good deal because I got some really, really nice stuff. And then they showed up again a few months later, and then you saw them on the GTN for 5, 6, 7 million credits each. Uh, and they didn't drop below 5 million credits. So it was interesting to see that rise. And so I assumed when I first saw these on the cartel market that these things would probably be on the GTN for around 10 million, 11 million, maybe even 12 million credits. And I was like, yeah, they're not going to go any higher than that. And now thus far, these things have not dropped below 17 million credits. And I've been seeing them just being put up for insanely high prices. They have not dropped for the longest time. They were just up there for 20 million credits each. And so I decided I was going to go ahead and experiment with these. And so I went and, uh, claimed two of them, waited for the cooldown timer to run out, and put them up on the GTN. I put them up for 19 million credits, and they actually sold. Now, it did take them some time to sell, which means it's not like the grand chance cube thing where when someone sees a good deal, they quickly buy it up. Uh, this is for a very select group of people because there aren't many people out there that would gamble 20 million credits on a gold armor pack. And if you're one of those people, I'm telling you right now, this is not a good deal. Like, despite, um, you know, people putting them up for that price, it is not a good deal to buy a gold armor pack for 20 million unless you're really feeling lucky and you have credits to waste. But if you're looking to save your credits or if you're looking to make credits, this is a really, really big gamble because the chances of you getting an armor set that is worth more than 20 million credits is relatively low. Um, and also, if you have 20 million credits, you don't have to buy these gold armor packs off the GTN. It's a waste of credits. You could just uh, offer 3, 4 million credits for a referral link click, and 2 referral link clicks later, which would cost you about 8 to 10 million credits, um, you could have your 1200 cartel coins you need to buy a gold armor pack yourself, and you would have spent 50% of what you would have spent buying them on the GTN. And also then you have other perks, like for example, you're probably going to have a few cartel coins left over because right now a referral link click gets you 1,000 cartel coins. But that uh, special is going to end after January 1st, at which point you're only going to get 600 cartel coins per referral link click. I'm actually doing a video about this later, but the bottom line is there are better ways to spend your credits to get these gold armor packs than paying 20 million on GTN. But as you guys can see, they are actually selling at these high prices. I did have one person in the comment section of my video show that he sold them for like 32 million credits each. He sold a couple of them at that price, and um, that's just absolutely insane. However, if you want to participate in this cash grab, I do suggest that you probably sell these things just on the GTN rather than trying your luck with opening them if you do have cartel coins left over and you're buying them because this is easily one of the best conversion rates. I assumed that these things were going to drop below 10 million credits. I was definitely very wrong. Uh, some people had the foresight to see that these things were going to sell for insane prices. And I personally thought for like, even if they go up for 20 million, they wouldn't sell, but it does seem as though they are selling. And I have been monitoring the GTN a little bit, and I've been seeing that people that put them up for like 17, 18 million credits, they do end up getting sales because they're there, and then a few hours later, they're no longer there. So I'm assuming that they've sold at that price. And as you guys can see here, I only um, claim two of them because it's a good idea probably like if they do sell at this price to hold on to them and sell them later. You can not only make a few million credits extra, but also uh, you're, there'll probably be more of a market for them, like someone who wasn't able to participate in it now is going to be looking for these types of deals in the future and you don't know what you're going to get you might get someone pay 50 million credits for one just because they really really want to open one and try their luck there are a lot of people out there with tons of credits to spare uh, such as myself i've made some pretty hefty purchases on the gtn myself uh, just for the sake of gambling and making a video or something but yeah, I thought I would update you guys that these things are actually selling at these high prices. And if you have cartel coins left over, you definitely might want to look into selling these things on the GTN. It's a really, really great conversion of cartel coins to credits. I do hope you guys enjoyed this really short video and I will see you in the next one.